this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII! Well, I've finally gotten all the items that I wanted to steal from the monsters here, so you can do it all on the 67th floor, that's just fine. So, got the Hard Edge for Cloud there, that's the item I stole from the soldiers. They're weak to fire, so that's an easy way of dealing with them, but let's compare that to the Buster Sword, it's like double the attack power, it's ridiculous. And also, we got carbon bangles for everyone now, and I got a couple extra for later, just in case. We're not going to be able to buy any of these items that we steal for quite some time, so it's very good if you can get them now. It doesn't take that long, less than 15 minutes for me. So anyway, for my materia setup, because we got a boss coming up here, we got fire, make sure Cloud has that, restore all, one of my favorite combinations in the game, and I just gave the cover materia t to Cloud for some reason, and Barret. I gave him stuff, not really important. Tifa, make sure she has fire. I also equipped Poison Elemental on Tifa so that she has protection against, well, Poison Elemental attacks, which the boss will have. And a Restore Materia just to cap things off. And, uh, oh, I forgot this. Equip the Star Pendant on Cloud there. It protects against the Status Poison, not Poison Elemental. Those are two different things. So with that out of the way, let's head up the elevator then. Step right there, Hojo! We found Eris! Alright! You don't even know the name of the girl you're experimenting on? Yeah, I mean, aren't scientists supposed to be, like, attentive to detail? Things like that? I mean, that's kind of what makes them a scientist, in a way. Why not? Yeah, the glass door is extremely delicate. <laughs> I think that's what he's referring to there, but... What are we going to do now? Oh, no. Well, we could take a huge sword up to your neck. That would do the trick. Bring in the specimen. But Eris is already here. Uh-oh. He's brought in a... Dog-wolf creature thing into Eris's chamber. Oh no, we gotta save her! Get her out of there! Well, Eris is human. I don't think she's endangered. Well, she's an ancient, I guess, but whatever that means. You're gonna breed a girl and a wolf? What the hell? We've got Cloud right here. He can do the job. Yeah, Barrett, can you do something about this glass door? Gee, let me think. Oh, it's bulletproof glass, but I guess it kind of pissed off the machine. What do you do? Oh, no, no, it's not a, not a typo there. I, I was just getting a little ahead of myself. I, I just expect typos everywhere with this game. Of course I have it. Whoa. Okay, well, let's grab Eris and get out of here before that wolf turns on us. I'm going to call him a wolf. Technically, he's not a wolf, but they never really specifically say. So, I'm going to call him a wolf because he looks like one. What elevator? Oh, right, the one that uh, that guy came in on. He has another specimen. Whoa! Whoa! That wolf talk? Okay, well we gotta take care of the monster and now to get the date that I want, I want to send Barrett to take care of Eris and protect her from the other monsters. And apparently we get a new party member, Red 13. All right. He's actually pretty average. For some reason, for a few years, I thought his name was Red 8. Like, I didn't realize the X was a... Or the, X, the V was an X, or whatever. Okay, so, we got Boss here. Uh, H-O-5-12, something like that. Whatever it is. Fortunately, Red 13 comes with fire! So, we're gonna hit him in the back row there. Now those pods in the front there, whatever they're called, or, yeah, that. 
don't bother attacking them because the boss will be able to revive them anyway. So don't worry about it. I want Cloud to use Cross Slash on the boss there because he's susceptible to paralysis. That ought to hold him off for quite a while. Yeah, that'll do the trick. This is why, also why I didn't get the fi a third fire material earlier because, well, Red 13 comes with one, so there you are. Now, don't use Bolt against the boss because he's strong against that element. But yeah, just basically spam fire against him. Uh, ice would do too, but I hate ice in this game. I said I hate ice! He doesn't have that much HP, does he? Oh, there we go. Well, that'll do the trick. All right. Okay, so we defeated the boss. We get a talisman. All right. We're going to be using that later. That'll be very important also against a slithering foe. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we got red 13 now. How are we going to get out of here? I just said that. I suppose Red 13 would know this place better than just about any of us. Yay! Oh, sure! You were just acting right. I'm sure. So how are we going to get out of here? What do you think we should do? I mean, get a helicopter or something? Okay, well, i got to take a moment to uh, rearrange my party, so I will take care of that and be right back. Okay, so I rearranged my party into Cloud, Barrett, and Red 13, which will maximize my chances of getting the data I want. So, we're going to meet at the 66th floor elevator. All right. But before we do that, there's some things we can get. Most importantly, the best materia in the game, the enemy skill materia. It works like blue magic. It is ridiculously good. I'll go over that more when the time is appropriate. Let's collect these useless potions. Why do they give us so many useless potions in these Final Fantasy games? All right, now this guy's just gonna run away. Oh, I wanted to kill him though. Okay, let's get these two potions and then just take the elevator out of here. All right, sounds pretty easy. Okay, almost there. Okay, we're home free. All right. Let's get out of here. Oh, someone else wants to use the elevator too. Okay. Just go along with it, Cloud. Don't worry, you'll... Oh, it's him. It's the Turks. Oh, no. You could just break the window and jump out, you know. Oh, wait, right. There's 66 floors in the air. Forgot about that. Oh, yeah, that, that doesn't work too well, does it? Couldn't you have just taken your sword out, like that one scene in Revenge of the Sith, or whatever, and just, like, cut them up or something? Oh boy. Now, I, let me guess, the president wants to gloat over his victory, huh? Got captured and we're trapped now. What, they just put her back in that cage? Oh, okay, so the ancients are the Cetra. Okay, just a different name for them, I guess. Well, what do they want a promised land for? I mean, what, what, what good is that gonna do you guys? Oh, a very fertile land. Uh-oh. They're going after the Mako. Well, it's just a... Sorry, skipped to that dialogue, but yeah. It's just a legend, right? Don't worry about it. Quit dreaming. You're crazy, old man. Well, it's times like this that I remember the wise, wise words of... Oh, what was the guy's name? Lionel Luther. When you're rich, you're not crazy. 
You're eccentric. I got a lot I want to say to you, fool. You spit on my suit. Secretary, well, yeah, we just told her we'd bash her head in, but... So what are we going to do now? Going to be executed or something? Okay, well, we're in jail, but that's all the time I have for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. Next time, we'll try to find a way out of here and figure out what we got to do to stop Shinra. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.